Okay. BSI, same safe? Same safe. Okay, and we begin by uh, inserting an oral uh, airway for my patient. I'm going to measure it from the mouth to the ear. I'm going to do a cross finger technique. Uh, insert it upside down and then rotate around until it's right there. I'm going to use the properly sized bag belt mask uh, to provide ventilations for my patient. Do an EC clamp, head tilt chin lift, and watch for proper chest rise. I'm going to breathe once every five seconds for my patient. I'm a partner continue ventilations for my patient while I prepare my uh, king airway. Looks like the properly, properly sized uh, airway uh, for this dummy. I'm going to use a number five for a six foot and taller. First thing I'm going to test the, test the airway. Looking for any, uh, any uh, problems with the, with the inflatables. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lubricate my airway. I'm going to have my uh, partner go ahead and hyperventilate my patient, please. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove the oral airway. And lube up my king and insert it at a 45 degree angle to 90 degree angle. Halfway, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it down to the teeth mark. I'm going to inflate to the proper amount. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use my bag valve mask. And on the first breath, as I uh, breathe into the patient, I'm going to go ahead and raise up the king until I achieve, achieve proper rise and fall. I achieve proper rise and fall. I'll go ahead and uh, confirm that uh, by listening to the chest. Uh, I'll listen to the gas gastrum to uh, for, uh, the, ga the gastric area to listen for any sounds there. Uh, I shouldn't hear any sounds there. I'll go ahead and use a capnography device to uh, detect CO2. You know, I partner continue ventilations on my patient. Go ahead and tie off my king airway. I'm going to go behind the ears. I'm going to tie off my device. Endoscope.